All right, welcome to Stranded Sailors Wines. Today we're going to be making watermelon wine. As you can see, I've already mashed it up. We started out with 12 to 15 pounds of watermelon. Here's to today's recipe. 12 to 15 pounds of watermelon, 13 and a half cups of sugar, 6 teaspoons of acid blend, 3 eighths teaspoon of tannin, 3 teaspoons of yeast nutrient, 3 Camden tablets. I've already mixed it up into the measuring cup. You got Camden tablets, acid blend, tannin, and yeast nutrient. And right there's a bottle of watermelon wine from last year. That shows you the finished product. Ain't that a pretty bottle? Now let me see if I can get you to sit down over here. I've done prepared 13 and a half cups of sugar, got it dissolved. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I'm going to start, I'm going to take all the ingredients. I'm going to pour them into the, into the clean carboy. Everything has been sanitized with star sand. Anything touches your wine needs to be sanitized with star sand. Restaurant grade cleaner. I'm going to set my measuring cup over here out of the way. I'm going to take these ingredients, set them out of the way, and I'm going to set my recipe book out of the way so it don't get wet. I will set this bottle right here so maybe you can see it. I'm going to take my mesh bag, drop it down in here, drape it over the top. I use a big rubber band, see a nice big rubber band to hold the top on. Now watermelon, see this is a nice clear watermelon. This is, was the first batch of wine that I made last fall. It is very good, but I'm about out, so I gotta make some more. I'm gonna take the spoon that I've been using for my, my sugar, and I'm gonna start spooning this in. Now with this watermelon, I wish YouTube would allow us to play music, because Tracy Bird's Watermelon Crawls, a song I would like to play while I make this wine. You know, if you're ever down in Georgia around about July, if you ain't in a hurry, you ought to stop by. We got a hundred gallons of sweet red wine made from the biggest watermelons on the vine. Back when I listened to country music, that was one of my favorite songs. I try not to listen to country music these days, though. Anyway, now I uh, started out with 12 to 15 pounds of watermelon. I mashed it up with a tomato masher. So I, I got a lot of juice here to start with. And I prepared as much stuff as I could as possible. So this should be a short video. There is a lot of juice in here, so hopefully this won't be a very long video. Is it get down, I'm going to just bring it up here and pour it in. Get all the juice. If you cut the watermelon up into chunks about, about one inch by one inch and then use a tomato masher, it's easy to mash it up and you'll have a lot of juice to start with and it makes it a lot easier for the yeast to do its job. You don't use any pectic enzyme with the watermelon. Look at that, how quick that was. Alright, I'm going to set my pot over here out of the way.
Take my rubber band off and set it down here. Grab the top. I like to twist it up as tight as I possibly can so that it's easy to tie a knot into the bag. And the tighter you can get it, the better. And these are seedless watermelons, so you don't really have a problem with seeds. But you still want to keep as much pulp as you can into the bag because that limits some of your some of your racking which is watermelon's pretty clear but if you can see see how nice and red that juice is after it ferments and clears it'll be almost a yellow color you see that It'll be almost a yellow color. That's some very good stuff right there. I've been enjoying a lot of it. That's why we got to make some more because I've been enjoying a little too much of it. All right, now I'm going to take my sugar. Try not to make a mess. We're going to pour it directly over top of the fruit. I let this cool down too much, so I got a bunch of sugar left in the pot. You want to take, take a little warm water, and rinse out the pot. hydrometer in the box so I guess we're not going to test this on video because the hydrometer is in the box that the video camera is propped up on I'll test it off of off camera so this is going to be a short video so I'm going to just fill it up to about three and a half gallons and cap it off, I'll have to test it off camera because I left the hydrometer in the box. Which I might can fish the hydrometer out. I don't know if I can or not. I'm liable to cut the camera off if I do that. I'm going to go up to about three and a half gallons, about right here. Let's see if I can do this without cutting the camera off. I don't know if I can or not. Okay. Did I do it? I've done it. Look at there. Let me put all this stuff back over here. One hydrometer, so we can test it. All right, well, wait a minute. Remember, I got star sand in here. You want to clean everything that touches the 
touches the wine. So we're going to rinse this with hot water. Pull out my hydrometer, and I'm going to clean it with star sand also. And rinse it with hot water. Everything that touches the wine needs to be cleaned with star sand. Alright, now I'm going to take my hydrometer, or my turkey baster, and I'm going to fill up my cylinder. That should be enough. Let's float this. Get my notebook. Specific gravity. One point zero six zero. One point zero six zero. Alcohol by volume. I can't read the thing. Oh, I'm going to have to test this thing again because that's saying it ain't but 7% alcohol. I know better than that. Maybe I didn't get the sugar stirred up good. 7% alcohol, there ain't no way. All right, let, let's, let's shake this bag up and down and try that again. All the sugar must be in the bottom. It's good to take the take your bag, shake it up and down a few times. Make sure you get the sugar stirred up. I think I'm gonna actually take this spoon and stir this a little bit. Let's try that again. There ain't no way that's right. 7% alcohol, there ain't no way. Alright, fill the cylinder back up again. That should be enough. 
Let's try this again, cause that that was that that ain't no way that was right. That's still saying eight percent alcohol. That right there is twelve and a half percent alcohol. Huh. It's still saying one point zero six zero. And 8% alcohol. Well, I'll check it again tomorrow because that can't be right. There ain't no way that's right. Anyway, whatever. Maybe I need to add some more sugar. I don't see how that's right. All the sugar must be in the bottom of the cardboard. That don't make good sense. Anyway, I'm going to put a cap on it. I'll test it again tomorrow. If anything else, I have to, might have to add some sugar or something. Watermelon wine. If you drink, don't drive, do the watermelon crawl. Thank you for tuning in today. Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, I greatly appreciate it. Goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to Stranded Sailor's Wines today. Much appreciated. Goodbye. Thank you.